Coach Cam Coach made this shit. I'm Brennan Cron. This is Rex, and welcome to Jamming with Cron and Rex, the most spooky podcast in all of Kentucky. That's right. How you been doing, buddy? Pretty good. What about you? Other than like today, where I'm super hungover, but yeah, not too bad. I uh, been really just so goddamn irritated this month. <laughs> Like, I don't know why, but I feel like more and more, I am, I don't know, just kind of, oh, I turned the chirping down. Uh, sorry, we're watching a a 10-hour broadcast of uh, videos for cats. I guess it's just videos to calm your cat down when you're, when they're home alone. I guess, I don't know. How's this going to calm them down? Wouldn't they just be like flipping shit if they just saw a giant fucking squirrel in the house. Cause look how big that thing looks. Yeah. I just stared right at you. Oh yeah. I don't see how that's calming. I, I think yeah. like a cat would knock a TV off the fucking wall. If they saw that. Don't know. Yeah. Cats are fucking assholes, but, um, yeah. Even not, irritated. I don't know. It, it's not like just like one thing, but it's like the accumulation of small things. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I got this, um, I don't know if I mentioned it on here, but like that ancestry DNA thing I did a while back. Yeah. Where like I spit in a tube and sent it off to somebody. Yes. Uh, like it'll give me emails every once in a while and I'll be like, Hey, we found hints for you. And what those hints are is like to people like linking me to people that like may possibly have, uh, like, um, I'm um, uh, what am I what am I trying to say? Like uh, like someone I'm possibly a relative with yeah. or like a family member. Mm-hmm. But like they won't tell me what it is. I have to find it. Like they'll tell me there's a hint, which means they have it but they're treating it like a game. Like yeah. oh like like it's blues clues. Like oh yeah. we we got the hint for you dumbass. Can you figure out what it is? <laughs> like that pisses me off so goddamn bad cuz that I, I don't it, it just reminds me like if you called the fire department and they was like, Hey, we have the tools that you need to put out the fire at your house. You gotta come come get it. We're not mobile right now. <laughs> and you're just like, What are you talking about? They're like, yeah. what good are you? And they're just like, We have the stuff. Mm-hmm. We know where it is. Mm-hmm. You just get it. You know? I don't know, it just pissed me off. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. I mean it was like over a hundred bucks for them to tell me that I'm a lot of the things I kind of already knew. I didn't know I was mm. kind of Japanese, too. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. What are you? I, I know, know I've asked you this before. No, like, do you have any, like, idea? Like, ha- your, has your parents ever mentioned it? What? Like, what What, what are you? I don't ask that question. They just call me gay. <laughs> like, I don't know. You never see anybody in your family, and they're just like, man, they look a little darker than me, or... Um, no. I mean... Nothing, like, has stood out and been like... But I've also never been curious about that. Like, that's never been yeah. something that I've cared about. What would you guess you are? White. Just white? A you kind of carry a tan to you. Like, a little color. Yeah, probably some, like, Native American. And then white. Yeah. That's it. God damn it, Brendan. You need to you need to look into that. Really? Why? N- this is... Cool. So, this is, like... I get this with my last name sometimes. When someone new... is crying. That's what a lot of people ask, and I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, they're like why? And it's like Germanic or something? Maybe. Again, I don't know. But people will be like, why, why don't you want to know? I'm like, why? Like, I don't see I feel like any, that's a common question. Like, that's a common of thing of it, interest. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, like, if you talk about, like, long-term diseases and stuff, like, more more of a tribute with, the, so, like, a certain race or ethnicity. Yeah. I guess that's fair. But... I don't know. Like, what if you kind of use a descendant of, like, Abe or something? Neat. Like, what does that do for me, though? You know? I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, you don't think that's worth, like, even mentioning at any point in your life? Like, hey, I'm, like, a great descendant of Abraham Lincoln. I'd probably tell you on the podcast yeah. or something. Okay. But, I don't know. It's just not something that, like, I am interested in. I think I'm a... I think sometime soon for the podcast, I'm going to get a psychic for you. What? Like a medium. Before. I want to see if they can tell you some of the shit. Just like my 
past and stuff. Yeah, like what you were in your past life and stuff. Maybe it'll cool. help you a little bit. I don't know if what I, you are in your past life like attributes to what race you are right now. <laughs> I just don't care about the past too much, just in general. Yeah. Like I'm someone who definitely wants to like move forward rather than look back. Well, it's not about, like, keeping your head stuck in the past. I just want to know, it. like, where my grandma's from because I can't understand a fucking word that she says. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I'm not bashing people who, like, find out their Well, I'm not saying, like, retrace yeah, the steps yeah. of your grandparents. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know, just. Yeah, it's just not something that I've been curious about. Yeah. I know, I was, I was scared a little bit whenever I sent in my, my little spit tube thing. Because, like, I ate a Pop-Tart, like, 10 minutes before, <laughs> and it said, like, don't eat within 30 minutes. And I was like, what the fuck is going to come up in my DNA yeah. results if they're just fucking, like, a half a Pop-Tart in the fucking tube? It, it just says you're 30% white, 40% Pop-Tart. Like, what? Dude, uh, I think my chair's about to break. But, um... I we've talked about this before how we don't like know shit about cars. Yeah, my car is getting to the point where I drive around the fire hydrant. You what? A fire extinguisher, not a hydrant. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what I was extinguisher. like. Extinguisher hydrants are a lot less portable. I could only imagine. <laughs> but yeah, I. Legit- I was like, did you fucking steal one? <laughs> what does that do to my cars? <laughs> I thought you were, like, going to tell me, like, in your trunk you stole a fire hydrant and just had one. No, I can imagine that's a very, very difficult thing to steal, and there's no way in hell it's worth it. It was about to be, yeah, I was going to be very interested on how and why you did that. That's just been a frustrating week, man. Yeah. (sighs) Try to sell a fire Hydrant couldn't, so now you have to have a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I bet that is frustrating. <laughs> I need to, I need to text my buddy from work because I think he's actually, uh, I think he's actually like on the mist or maybe a come down of a three day bender. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He uh, did I tell you about him? Uh, the guy that's trying to quit vaping. Yes, yes, yeah. he did. He's like, so I this about that. this guy I go to school with, he's like. 57 years old and he said he wanted to quit vaping so he's gonna climb up a hill and he can barely walk up a flight of stairs he's gonna climb up a hill and leave his vape behind him which i've heard of people doing this before just like basically just getting away from it Mm -hmm. and i was just messing with him i was like oh you're gonna bring like any hallucinogenics or something because you know to me that just reminds me of like Someone going off to the, like, desert and, like, doing peyote or something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he he said he's going to bring mushrooms, weed, and a lot of alcohol. <laughs> and, like, cool, you're, you're not addicted to vaping anymore, <laughs> but you developed a mean black tar heroin addiction. <laughs> <laughs> you now have cirrhosis. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I was meaning to text him because he just probably shouldn't do that. But yeah. who am I to stop him? And you know, it's not really any of my business. But yeah, yeah. That, I just yeah. thought that sounded more like a bender than yeah. it did just quitting an addiction. You're just trading an addiction. Yeah, it was also crazy to hear someone's someone is trying to quit vaping and they weren't in their twenties. Like that's such a yeah. And I was like, grow up, man. Yeah, <laughs> like actually smoke cigarettes if you're above the age of twenty. Like. Quit the, what, what is the vaping doing? <laughs> no, he's a, he's a wild guy. He's, he's just like one of the people that like I work with who's been, I don't know what it is about like older people, but they just kind of accept the fact that they're miserable. Like at a certain point in their life, they're just like, my wife is such a ridiculous bitch. <laughs> but it's already been 20 years. So I have to spend the rest of my life with her. They're yeah. like, there's no way out. Yeah. Like, this is just life now. I'm just with it, this tyrannical, horrible bitch of a human. Yeah. I wonder if people knew, like, if they would just realize, like, 50's not that old. Yeah. Like, there's people at my work who legitimately don't want to retire because they hate their wife. <laughs> I'm like, 
leave. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and they're always the ones that want to stay in, yeah. uh, like stay at work until it's time to punch out. And I'm like, I could not imagine hating a human being so much that I want to stay at work to avoid them. And they also live with me. Yeah. I remember at the warehouse I worked that there were, there would be people like that, that they would like complain so much if there wasn't overtime because they're like, I don't want to go home. And I'm like, I just thought you were poor yeah. and didn't have money. Yeah, like, dear God, I thought you just grinded. Yeah. I didn't know you fucking hated your family. <laughs> I would love to work 80 hours a week so I can never go home to my family. I think that's what, like, inspired Jeff Bezos and shit. <laughs> like, the people that absolutely work their ass off. They're like, hey, what's your motivation to go to Mars? I want to get the fuck away from my wife. <laughs> Like, that's what all of this has been about. I fucking hate her. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I don't get that. Because, like, some people, like, and it's not even, I get maybe dealing with it for a little bit. Because, you know, it's the person you loved or, you know, yeah. loved at some point. I understand a rough patch. Yeah, like, trying to get over it. But, like, yeah. there's some people that, like, like at work, because I'm genuinely curious whenever they talk about how miserable they are. Yeah. And I'm like, I was like, well, I was like, do y'all sleep together and he's like what do you mean i'm like we all hate each other like yeah you have told me how much she hates you like it is very apparent that she hates you just as much you hate her yeah. and they're like oh no we haven't slept in the same bed in like two years so i'm like i think it's even crazier two years do. yeah, yeah like it'll you be like, hate each other all day but then y'all just go to bed together and just stare at the ceiling like it's like i fucking hate it i don't want to go home and then it's like all right honey you ready for bed like yeah, what there's this there's this guy at my work who he said he does not see his um, like his wife will not know he's even home. Yeah. Um, like if he if he doesn't take the trash out, like that's how she knows he's home is that like the trash got taken out. But other than that, she will not know if he's home because he was like, we go to separate rooms. And I was like, do y'all stay there? Do y'all have like his own y'all's own bedrooms and shit? And they're like, and he's like, no, we just meet at night. And I was like. What? <laughs> Y'all meet at night. <laughs> also, how could you hate someone if you're spending like ten minutes a like ten? Well, that's probably why minutes. they hate each other. Yeah. They genuinely don't know each other yeah. anymore. They're pretty much, I couldn't imagine just a stranger living with me, and then we meet for bed every night. I'd be like, this is so fucking weird. I cannot yeah. stand this person. <laughs> I think I think one of the best stories I've heard like that from my work is um, so. There, there's this, there's this guy at my work, and him and his wife have like not really been together for years. They're still yeah. married. Yeah. And he lives in the uh, first floor of their house, and she lives on the second. And they just don't talk. They pretty much just go. It, it's almost like they live in separate apartments. Yeah. Like he's like they just, they don't really interact with each other. I want to know how you. How you agree to that? And the like, divorce never came up. I'm assuming they just don't talk about it, and yeah. they just keep on going yeah. about their days, and they just kind of both silently agree with each other that they're just like, yeah, well, we're married, so we gotta stay married. But I'm gonna live down here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like for me, it just seems like a conversation of like, you know what? Let's just probably go, just live upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna assume. If they had better communication yeah, skills, yeah, yeah. Course, they wouldn't be course. in this situation. But um, the guy I was telling you about who lives in the basement of his own house, he he brought over another girl because uh, apparently they, they just sleep with other people still, but they're still legally married. And so he brought over a girl mm-hmm. uh, to the basement, which is his house, and the neighbor, she told his wife who lives upstairs about it. And his wife threatened to kick that woman's ass because she was like, don't fucking snitch on my husband like that. Like you like <laughs> still had his back 300 percent. Like she was threatening to whoop this woman's ass because that's, she's not minding her own business. She's, she's watching him. That's a life partner. Yeah. I was like, like I was like, why are, why are y'all not together? Y'all seem like y'all should be best friends. Yeah. Like that. Like that, that's that oddly actually, one of the most rom- romantic stories I've ever heard. And it's with cheating. Yeah. Consensual cheating. Yeah. It's not even an, I, I don't even think it's an open relationship. They're just cheating. <laughs> just, I don't, that's I don't know if wild. it's cheating, if it's consensual, but I don't know, man. That's pretty cool though. I mean, 
I know, dude. I haven't met her, but she seems yeah amazing. Like they, I don't know. There's got to be some interesting shit. Like the people I work with, they're weird because they make me feel normal. Like that's how yeah. weird all these people are. Like I remember when I first got there, I was like, I remember I was like, I would like try to impress them, yeah, like the older guys. But then, like after three months, I was like. Dude, all these people are, like, working on their sixth marriage. Why do I care what these guys fucking think? I was like, these these guys can't even stand up to their wives. Why am I Why am I so fucking worried <laughs> about what they think of me? I don't know. They can't even speak to their wife. <laughs> and I feel like I need to speak to them. <laughs> Who am I? How bad am I doing? I don't remember what made us talk about that. Yeah, I think just the workplace in general. Just annoyance? Yeah. I remember, I remember when we started this off with just talking about how annoying shit's been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who knows? Um, Let's start trying to work in Song of the Week right after so we can get a little bit more okay. consistent. Yeah. I'm going to type out what my Song of the Week is this week. Okay. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were about to say it. No, I'm going to uh, type it. Mine is <laughs> um, Potholders by MF Doom. I got mine submitted. What is it? <laughs> it's Archie Marry Me by I love it. All V's. It's two V's. I'm assuming it's just always. Yeah, I think it's always. But why? Why not just? It, it's I think literally it's like, that much of a connector. It's, it's like, like a the German thing. Like, well, I think it's the same as like uh, like turning the E backwards in Eminem. Like it's just kind of like a something neat, I guess. Is I that know. what it looks like though? Like if you. Um, isn't that just like a kind of like a logo thing? Like what like the LJ is for LeBron that has like mm-hmm. the crown in the center? Isn't that just that? Because I think like even if you look up like that song, it'll mm-hmm. just say all vase. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just think that I don't know. I think they just did it for it to look cool, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, whatever. Don't know. Yeah. But that's my song of the week. Very good song. It um, is. I didn't know of it until we did that one. Yeah. What was that list? Uh, best songs of... Uh, Every, no, not all time. Was, was it? it? Was it? No. <sighs> Have we done top 50 songs on there? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I forget what bracket was. Dude, it's, oh, top, uh, no, it was like... Wasn't it in like top 50 of the 2010s or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was one of the decades. Yeah, something like that. One I think it might have been the 2000s because it doesn't seem like a... No, it, no, because I think that's what surprised the shit out of me is how new it was. Yeah, I don't fucking know. You goof. I don't, Oof. Know. I don't know why I stick with Apple for everything. Well, they're just better. They just piss me off so bad. They treat... they treat a, It's like being in a like abusive relationship. Yeah, I love it. You know, you're just like... <laughs> Well, it's not perfect, but it's what I'm used to, yeah. you know? So you kind of just get used to the abuse. Mm-hmm. Like, you'll just wake up one morning and they'll delete every song you have on your goddamn phone. Speak of the annoying shit that's been happening this week. Yeah. I can't believe that fucking happened to you. Yeah. Luckily, it got solved quick, but <laughs> I oddly... 2014 is when Archie married me. Yeah, that's out. crazy. Yeah. Because it doesn't sound like a new song. No. And I'm saying that as a good thing. Like, it sounds too good to be that new. Yeah. It it just, I don't know, aesthetically feels like an old song. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met a guy in my life named Archie. No, but I don't. Is that short for anything? Like Archibald? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Archer? Know. Why would you Why? shorten Archer yeah, that's not really to shorter. Archie? <laughs> yeah. You're just replacing an I for an R and... Switching them with the, yeah, there's yep. a lot of shit you do, but <laughs> there's a lot to it, but don't, don't worry. Yeah. But no, it, oh God, I'm so scared. Yeah. That, that chair is going to fucking break. Yeah. I hope it kind of does. You want a new one? Yeah. I kind of need one like you got. Really? This is so goddamn bulky. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not a streamer. Why do I have this? Why'd you let why. me get this? But, mm-hmm. um, no, it just left me with two songs. Mm-hmm. Which were? Which, uh, the motto? The motto and... Um, take care? Yes. The yeah. motto and take care. Yeah, they really stood out to me because it was just so weird. Yeah, the only two songs they just decided yeah. to leave. And I was yeah. like... I just I just assumed that they're your most streamed songs, and so they just kept those two. 
I didn't even know I had Take Care <laughs> on my phone. Isn't Take Care the one that has like the awful laugh? Oh, it might. Yeah. I, I hate that song now, honestly. Like, I like 80% of the song, but yeah. that last weird whatever the fuck that is, I hate that so bad. Yeah, I don't understand why people do that. And I don't think I've listened to the motto outside of our, like, Drake and yeah. Kanye bragging since I was, like, 13. Yeah. So, I don't know why that was left on there, but I don't know. Apple's just... Didn't they, like, admit publicly that they was fucking our phones yeah. when new phones came out? Yeah. Whatever happened with that? Uh, I think a lawsuit was started. You would assume they'd pay out. Yeah, I'm assuming Apple just murdered whoever started that lawsuit and any witnesses. Yeah, we probably shouldn't bring it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to pursue it. I <laughs> no. mean, yeah, I mean, it's it was pretty apparent, too. Like, it was a joke for a while, but, like, we it was knew. pretty yeah, apparent. We knew it was true. Yeah, like, but we was all just like, eh, well, you know, I'm used to them. So what do you do? You just put on sunglasses over your black eye and just tell your coworkers <laughs> yeah. you fell down the stairs. You know, <laughs> you just kind of fell into a doorknob. Yeah, you live with it. Fell into a doorknob. That sounds like a gay thing, not a, <laughs> not a. I got a black eye from a doorknob. <laughs> so, oops, I slipped in the doorknob, fell in my ass. <laughs> the doorknob took my virginity. <laughs> God damn it, Brendan knobbed me again. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up something, slam the door on my asshole. <laughs> So I was wanting to introduce a new way of doing things around here. Cool. Instead of just jumping from thing to thing. Yes. You want to like spin a wheel or something? Like, Brennan, you're taking away all the fucking magic. (laughs) Yeah, it's a wheel. (laughs) Is it really? Yes. There's no fucking way. Oh, you want to see some more shit? Um, I have this wheel. For so many things. I genuinely love communism with a little, like, flavor. Again, back to Ancestry DNA, I think it's because of my Korean roots, but I love me some communism. The lack of choice. Like, so, you know, when you go out with your girlfriend and she says, um, you pick, I don't care, but you know she cares. You know she cares, and she's just waiting for you to say what restaurant she wants. Because, like... I'll do it on purpose sometimes because, like, I know my girlfriend doesn't like, like, Arby's and stuff. Yeah. So she'll be like, oh, I don't care. Just name somewhere. I'm like, Arby's. And she'll be like, yeah. no. I'm like, what about Sonic? No. no. Rallies? No. Olive Garden? Oh, if that's where you want to go, you yeah. know? I do maybe two picks. I'll be like, McDonald's? <laughs> no. Taco Bell? No. I'm like, you pick. Yeah. I was like, whatever I yep. say next is where we're going or wherever you say next is where we're going. Yeah. Because, like, it'll literally become a standstill because usually I respond with, I genuinely don't care. Like, I can find something from anywhere we go. Yes. So I I came up with this. That's awesome. Yeah. So I have it. We're going to Taco Bell. God damn it. My stomach is still fucked from Taco Bell last night. Yeah, I don't really want Taco Bell. Yeah. And then. That's awesome. Yeah. You want to go to. download this app. Yeah. Want to go to a sit down restaurant? What's the name of this? Looks like we're going to the fish house. Neat. Um, it's just Tiny Decisions, uh, the Tiny Decisions app. And yeah, now I got um, podcast topics on here. So, you know, if, mm-hmm. you know, we're kind of at a point where we're like, oh, uh, what's going on in the news? We'll hit that and it'll tell us what we can talk about. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. And really if you're like, like hey, I don't know where I want to eat, but I know what I want to eat. Steak, seafood, Asian, and then it narrows it down. Yeah. And what will I jam to today? That's kind of neat, too. Yeah, because I'm trying to diversify my shit. Yeah. And it's like hip-hop, alternative, pop hits, rock, classic, punk, my station, and then albums you've been meaning to listen to for a while but haven't got to yet. <laughs> Zodiac Killer was, which I'm assuming you're going to talk about how they found out who it was. Do you believe that? I think that if they were going to lie about it to make up for one of the worst detective stories I've ever heard. And you know I feel like I could solve that fucking case. Yeah. Um, one of the worst detective stories I've ever heard of the Zodiac Killer was when they were like, there's a man wearing black. Uh, he is the Zodiac oh, Killer. Yeah. And they show up and they go, there's no black man. 
we can't find them. So I think if they were going to cover it up and they were like yeah. saying like, oh, we found them, they would have said that it was a black guy just to make that story a little more better. But no. I don't know if they're wanting to <laughs> double down on that because Dude, the drawing I, was clearly a small white guy. Yeah. Like very yeah. clearly. And I honestly don't believe for a fucking second that it's the dude they say it is. You think so? Yeah, because they're like, oh, well, unfortunately, he's been dead for three years. You knew he was dead for three years. The little chicken shits trying to find the easiest possible route out of that. Because I think they want to make up for years of not doing their goddamn job or just pretty much embarrassment. So they're like, oh, we're not a complete embarrassment. We found out who it was, but he's dead, so I guess he can't, you know, argue. You think also that they're just fucking tired of people talking about it? And, like, they're tired of people being like, I can't believe you haven't solved the case yet. They're like, oh, my God, shut up. Here it is. that guy. They just just pick up the paper and look at the obituary. There he is. Found him. Yep. Like, oh, uh, you want to go ask him if he did it? Go for it. He's dead. So, oops. (laughs) Yeah, I don't believe that shit for a fucking second. I feel like that is the easiest route that they can go for that. I can see it not being true. Yeah. But at the same time, I could see it being true so th- I think this is just something that I will never truly know but yeah I really don't have too much more about that and outside of check out the movie The Zodiac yeah yeah don't get it confused with the Zohan but also watch the Zohan yeah with the same mindset that you would the Zodiac <laughs> I still have not seen the Zodiac dude it's so I good. know uh, Mark um, Ruffalo Robert Downey Jr. and um, I went on a Rachel McAdams? Is that who I'm thinking of? That that sounds wrong. I think I'm thinking of another investigative uh, thing. But yeah. What? Um, what? Weirdly enough, I watched. I've been watching a lot of like Robert Downey Jr. interviews. Yeah. Lately. Yeah. Which it started because I watched the Chappelle special, watched a Chappelle interview, and the new he, one. Yes. Okay. And then I watched a Chappelle interview because he was on David Letterman's new, newer show. New, yeah. His new thing. Yeah. Um, and then the next episode was Robert Downey Jr. And then watch more of his interviews. So it was like a weird transition there, but I bet that'd be a cool guy to hang out with. Which one? Both. Either really. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking more of Robert Downey Jr. I was going to say sit down and have a drink with, but that's probably not the most appropriate thing to do with him. Yeah. I didn't know it wasn't just alcohol. It makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of crazy hearing that like rich people do heroin. I always thought heroin was like kind of like a back alley trash yeah. thing. Like, yeah. isn't that what Demi Lovato almost OD'd from was yeah. heroin? Yeah. Like, I just never pictured like rich celebrities doing heroin. Yeah. Like, I obviously, thought, it's a kind of a low point if they do. Yeah. But I mean, I always thought for rich people it was just coke. What's the difference between coke and crack? Um, I think baking powder. Huh. Yeah, because I've heard things saying like baking? crack cocaine. Yeah. And I'm like. What is crack cocaine? Yeah. It's just mixed? I don't know well enough, which I guess is a good thing. But I think if you cook coke with baking powder or something like that, yeah. it's some weird fucking thing like that. Who figured that out? Oh. That's like whenever crack they... Crackheads. Yeah, that's fair. The, the original founding fathers of crackheads. Yeah. But no, that, that's what I always wondered. Because like they always yeah. tell you about the horrible things that are in cigarettes. I'm like, who put all this together? Like I know that they used to smoke tobacco. Yeah. It was literally a plant. Yeah. So that made sense. But now you hear stuff that like there's like tar in there, and I'm like, what? Why? How? Who? Who came up with this like hypothesis? Yeah. What are you looking up? I looked up the difference between coke and crack. <laughs> probably not the best yep. for my search history, but yeah, you're on a watch list now. Well, they probably saw that coming. We've lived in Shepherdsville for a while, so they're like, yeah, this is the most I, normal I thing. was weirdly right. Uh, crack cocaine is derived from powdered cocaine and, okay. com- and combining it with water and another substance, usually baking soda. The 2017 terms search more often when compared to other states. Now, I think Kentucky is a pretty interesting one. Uh, Most popular search terms by state. So overall, the most popular search term in the state of Kentucky, as in 90%, at least, at least we have all the major cities in Texas. Yeah. So I would say like 90% of America is looking up lesbian porn the most. 
Hawaii's got hentai. No, Alaska's got hentai. Yeah. My bad. Hawaii's, Hawaii's Asian. Asian. Neat. Yeah. Uh, shout out. Shout out over here. Is that Pennsylvania? That's got MILF. I mean, not MILF. Uh, Ebony? Yeah. I don't know. I'm colorblind. I can't I, really fucking tell what that is. It, you're right. Okay. The I can tell you most of the states over there, but I can't tell you which one's which. Like that, yeah. yeah, the, that whole, whole, the northeast is kind of fucked. Yeah, is it, in it, a it, lot more ways than geographically. <laughs> yeah. But It's just a clusterfuck over there. How weird for being like a pretty Christian forward country. That was a softball way of saying that. Yeah. A very Christian forward uh, society that lesbian is like up there. Yeah. You know, I get MILF is like respect thy father and mother and stuff. And that's that's some super respect. It actually pretty disrespectful. Hentai in Hawaii is kind of kind of crazy. In Alaska? Yeah, Alaska. I don't know what I would think Alaskans would jerk it to, but I didn't think, I didn't think it was hentai. That's like Sarah Palin's state. Maybe it's because they've only seen like four humans. Yeah. So they don't probably know like lesbian exist up there. Yeah. There's only like two there's, people. Yeah. <laughs> and like only four of them are women and they've never made yeah. out before. Yeah. Yeah. The, I don't know That's what's weird. up with the... Uh, what's the next... Uh, both of the Dakotas are into MILFs. Yeah. It's odd. And then I think that's Colorado right next to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's weird. So what's the next one? Top gaining searches of 2017. Um, Kentucky, which stands out to me, is cheerleader, along with yeah. a lot of the other states. So I think at this point it's fair to say that they're looking up uh, lesbian cheerleaders. Yeah. In the East. That's a very Eastern thing. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Up hentai spreading. Isn't that crazy, though? Because yeah. hentai, like, Alaska's up here. Yeah. And so it's just spreading down. Yeah, but... Look at it. Yeah, it's Alaska, slowly uh, infecting. Alaska ditched the hentai. Well, yeah, they got rid of that. It, it moved yeah. on. Every every person that's into hentai is moving towards the southeast. <laughs> There's, What's SFM? I don't know. S- smoking fetish? That's what you're too. What's M? I actually thought you would know. SFM. Oh, oh it's not smoking. smoking. Yeah, because smoking's over there. SFM. What is SFM? All right, I got to look that up. Is there something I'm missing out on? They didn't tell me about this shit? Source, filmmaker, on train. I don't that's think not. that's it. Uh, Service fee permit. <laughs> 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 That can't be true, right? That's not it, right? I want to go on Pornhub and look up service feet. No, I can't. The word feet's in there. Yeah. It's going to ruin it. What is what? SFM? Uh, go up, go up, go up. Oh. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. I was say, there was one that was said, what does SFM mean in Reddit? Because that'll definitely be it. Source filmmaker. That's not it. Never mind. Um, in... Porn and drilling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of where I was going. SFM porn. Porn made in Source Filmmaker. Holy shit. What is SFM? So, yeah, Source Filmmaker is the movie making tool Bill and. <laughs> that, that's pretty crazy. So, uh, Alaska leading the way again. And I, I guess if the trends continue. Here in a few years, we'll see it spread, it's like slowly into the mainland. Uh, giantess, which I'm assuming yeah. is Amazonian-like women. Oh yes, oh, that's fucking wild. I need to save these and send these to you so we can pull these up in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll all be pulled up. I don't get the appeal of squirting. I don't need. I've tried it. It's not that fun. <laughs> It didn't really work that well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't it just pee? Kind of. Yeah. I think it's a, it's mostly pee. <laughs> so I, I, I definitely tasted more pee than anything. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely hadn't had water in the past couple of days. <laughs> so my sheets definitely smelled like piss after. So. Three girls, one guy. Neat. Damn. 
<gasps> no, what state is that? I think that's Denver. That, yeah, that that's not Utah. Because I was like, yeah, I think... I think Utah? Don't know, buddy. This yeah, is your... I think it's over here. Because I was going to say, if it's where the Mormons are, that makes so yeah, much sense. it really does. I know. People give them so much shit for just being able to marry multiple women and believing in a kind of crazy story. <laughs> <laughs> that story's stupid. <laughs> That story's stupid. <laughs> it does put, have, He didn't put two of uh, every species on a boat. <laughs> dude, it's got to be, like, really bad for, like, everyone in the world. Just be like, no, that, that's dumb. Yeah. And when I say they, I mainly mean Trey Stone and Matt Parker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Relative terms search more often when compared to other states. We lead the way in black guy, uh, wait, black girl, white guy. I... Yes. I definitely feel like in this state, it like the last thing that search is black guy, white girl. Because I'm mainly thinking of like guys looking up porn. Because I'm sure there's plenty of girls that look up that. But in Kentucky, I doubt that there's guys looking up black guy, white girl. Yeah, it's fair. Ebony anal. They're really specific over <laughs> there in uh, South Carolina. No. Yeah. Yeah. Giants. Yeah. Yeah, a giant a cream pie. <laughs> What's Alaska up to? Oh, do not come down. <laughs> oh, no. And I spread it to Hawaii. <laughs> Brandon, look at it. It's yeah. spreading down yes. the West Coast. Yeah, Florida... Florida Man, I would Georgia. love to hear this weather report. <laughs> we slowly have hentai coming in from the, nor- from the Northwest... I really didn't think Texas was going to be too accepting of lesbians. It's surprising. Yeah, hentai's over here, and yeah. this makes sense. Yes. Yeah, Florida is a weird place to be. I definitely feel like they would lead the way. <laughs> I like the big rush of POV. I respect yeah. that. Orgy? That's a, um, Illinois, ain't it? Sure. Right, I just I just agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, because is cream pie Indiana or is lesbian Indiana? Sounds like I'm talking about counties. <laughs> Swing by uh, lesbian Indiana. <laughs> yeah, because I don't. Yeah. Man, I need to get better. I, yeah. I know this I'm is Louisiana. Here. Yeah, it looks like a fucked boot. A fuck I'm just picturing boot. those swamp people walking through with their muddy boots, and that's what their state looks like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh oh. That Trevor Noah? No, that is definitely not Trevor Noah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a boxer. <laughs> I was like, why is Chris Cyborg up there with Trevor Noah? Yeah, uh, okay, that, that wasn't. Average time spent per year. Ooh. For, for visit. Shut not, the fuck up. Not per year. <laughs> wow. Eleven. Who is watching porn for 11 and a half minutes? Uh, it looks like we're on the scale of like 11 minutes. It look No, it looks like we're like here. Because like average is right here at like 10 and a half minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, actually, then, yeah, that put us right at, like, 11. I didn't realize how short of a list yeah. this was. Yeah. So nine was minutes like, is the minimum? Yeah. I was watching porn for nine minutes. God damn. I, was like, I just need a blue chew in, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> Who the fuck needs... Who needs this? You could listen to pyramids in this time, but instead you're jerking off to ebony anal in lesbian Indiana. <laughs> You guys make me sick. And Hinta spreading across. I'm surprised VR ain't up there. We're probably too poor for VR porn, right? That's definitely yeah. got to be a classy thing. Like what cocaine is for... Um, yeah. How to survive cuffing so, season 2021. I don't... Yeah, I that's don't a sad fuck. article. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, oh, okay, but yeah. Let, let, let's what go made ahead. you think of this? I don't know, dude. I, I don't have a good memory, like, at fucking all. All right. 
uh, my mind is, I don't know. I'm always thinking of other things. Which is fair. Never really caring about what's going on. What made me think about that? Because uh, we talked, I don't even know the last thing we talked about. The Fury of Fury. Let's talk about the fight last night. It was good. Um, I don't. And when you say good, I yeah. I genuinely think it it might be the best fight I've watched. Boxing fight. I mean, honestly, overall, like, because oh, I'm shit. I'm not. It's hard to compare UFC to boxing. It really, it is. really is, but I mean, definitely as, in terms of boxing, like yeah. me watching it live and in front of me, that is the best Pop-up. fight I've ever watched. Yeah, it was really good. Because that's why I was thinking, I was like, I don't know if I can really consider like fights I've watched like Tyson fights. Because I mean, I've watched them, but like I didn't watch them, you know, like because it's, it's kind of you, you yeah, didn't yeah. really experience the full heat of the moment, you know. Yeah. We're just seeing it 20, 30 years later. Yeah. But Even with the loss, I think this helped Wilder a lot. Yeah. Um, the last fight looked embarrassing. Yeah. And so this fight really shown that he had it. He he could be the champion. He is the second best heavyweight in the world. Yes. Because before I was like, oh, maybe Joshua's ahead of him and mm-hmm. stuff. But then Joshua gets beat down. And then Deontay Wilder stands his fucking own with Tyson Fury for first, 11 rounds. First time to ever knock... Uh, Fury's ever been knocked down twice in a round. Um, Dude, he fucking just, crazy. And it is crazy because you see like his power because like the hits were like 117 to 57 or something weird like that. It was that. a slow start for Fury because like it looked like he was trying to fill him out, but mm-hmm. he was taking some – like he was absorbing some hits. So I was like, yeah. when the fuck's he going to do anything? But then second round, you start seeing the strikes landed switch drastically. Like Fury, yeah. I think – Landed like twenty something at the end of round one. I mean, at the end of round two, and Wilder only landed like like ten less than that or something. He only yeah. landed like a couple punches that round. There's a lot of boxers that when they land a punch, it looks weak, and it'll just put someone's lights out. Yeah, because Fury is yeah. an example of this. Tyson, yeah. none of his punches look like. They're except taking the, your head except off. a couple of yeah. his last two knockdown ones, like the yeah. clean fucking hits, but. That's not the case with Wilder. Yeah. Wilder looks like he's taking your head off with every punch. Yeah. Every punch looks deadly. Like it looks like yes. it could just lights out anybody at any second. Because that's what was so crazy is that Fury was winning, but at, at like towards the later part of it. But at any point, even with Wilder being like dizzy and you know looking like he could be knocked out any minute, he even damn near unconsciousness had enough power to knock down Fury. It's so crazy. Yeah, I think Wilder didn't look like he was there last night, which is kind of scary because of how good he did. Yeah, he looked a little sluggish. I mean, dude, he looked, like, tired from the very yeah. beginning because, like, he's a usually pretty intense guy from what mm-hmm. I've seen. Like, screaming, hollering. Maybe he wanted to go for, like, more reserved, like, not waste any energy thing. But, like, yeah. even when the fight started, like, his eyes looked, like, sunken. Like, he just looked like he was, like, wore out. Like, yeah. maybe not even wore out, but just, like, he woke up. Mm-hmm. So it, it was really weird. Yeah, that that's what I thought stood out. To I'm me waiting weird. for him to say something because I, I feel like he's gonna even if it's not the case, he's gonna be like, "Oh, it's because of this like I took melatonin or something before the fight." I couldn't or, sleep last night, so I drank some wine. I'm the poor Paulo Costa out, but no, uh, Fury said he was uh, kind of being a sore loser about it after. Really? Yeah, like he went to go shake hands with them, and he kind of just shoved his hand away, and he said. That sucks. He said, "No, nah, I don't. I don't want any." I guess something about cheating got brought up because, mm-hmm. like, I've even seen in comments where people were, were saying it wasn't a lot of people, but it was still enough to the point where I was just like, I definitely didn't notice it. Like, it kind of made me take it serious. But they said they gave Tyson uh, the count of fifteen and not ten. And I was like, "What? Not that I fucking saw." Like that's a big difference. It's yeah. not like it's like a like an extra second or like an extra couple seconds. What? That's a that's full weird. five more seconds that they said Fury was given, and I didn't see that at all. I didn't either. Maybe I need to go back and watch that. Yeah, because I, I mean, it made me feel a little bit better because other people in the comments were like, "No, you're a fucking idiot." <laughs> yeah, and that's what I think too because I definitely don't think the sport of boxing is above rigging and like kind of throwing fights. I mean, I think they actually got in trouble for that like back in like the mafia days. <laughs> was a uh, uh rigging fights, but I was like I, I just didn't see it. I yeah. was like I don't get that and 
I don't know. I mean, in, it's weird because usually in fights, wherever they like kind of get into the clinch a lot, it irritates the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. But Fury, when he did it last night, it seemed so much more tactical. Mm-hmm. Like it didn't it, like it was kind of like just like chopping down a tree slowly. Yeah. Like he's just breaking them down. The one thing I'll say is Fury didn't look as evasive either. Yeah, and maybe that's just the lack of punches thrown. From Wilder because he definitely wasn't, or maybe in, that's a uh, he, maybe that's just a good thing on Wilder. Yeah, you know, instead of it just being like, oh, Fury looked less evasive. Maybe it's more yeah. like Wilder was able to, Land you know, close yeah. Which is, close the gap, like not let him do that. Yeah, because usually you always see like the Fury like doing like almost yeah. like the Muhammad Ali style of dodging, yeah, just pairing punches yeah. and shit. But yeah, you didn't see it last night, so. Yeah, it's just like a lot of the times when people go into the clinch, it's usually because they see their opponent is uh, like gaining some momentum or something. Mm-hmm. They're trying to keep it from going there, or if they're just trying to like maybe get in a quick couple quick hits, yeah, like on their side, like not too crazy, but just points yeah. and maybe grab some points. But Fury was doing it like legitimately weighing him down, like it's like he was just adding. I mean, he was just. Having 280 pounds lay on him. Yeah. And you could even see, like, I don't know if you call him a knockdown, but Wilder literally, like, fell down. Like, mm-hmm. it was weighing down on him. Like, he didn't get hit hard to where he just mm-hmm. – but, yeah, he just literally just went down to his knee because, I mean, it's 208 – almost 300 pounds just – Laying on you. Yeah. It's, it's pretty wild, especially if, like, 40 pounds of a walk was too much. Yeah. 280 has got to be deadly. God, I, I couldn't imagine that, dude. It – and it's crazy how it's just Fury's body <laughs> is just crazy in the weirdest way yeah. that that's the best active heavyweight in the world right now. Yeah. Yeah, because even the people we had over yesterday, they don't watch boxing at all. Yeah. So they don't even know the names. And we were like, who do you think is the better boxer? Yeah. The dude who kind of looks fat and out of shape or the dude who looks like Jacked. an action figure. Yeah, like, yeah, literally. It's like, oh, very much the action figure. It's like, nope. Yeah, I was like, my money's on the on the chubby British guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the not the big buff action figure-like guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild place, man. And uh, I just, I don't know. There's... Outside of that, there's really not a lot of people I care to watch in boxing. Like, you got Canelo, you got... Uh, Fury. Yeah, I don't even really care to watch anything to Joshua that much. I don't. Like, whenever he lost his title, I wasn't itching to buy that pay-per-view. Yeah. Because, I mean, you pretty much buy the pay-per-view to watch, like, maybe one or two fights you watch with mm-hmm. fighters you know. Mm-hmm. In my experience, because I really don't know that much about boxing, it doesn't yeah. seem that exciting. Like... The UFC kind of has like a cool, almost WWE esque thing to it, which is why I think I like it because I'm a trash. <laughs> but it's this like there's like drama with yeah. it, like people are literally getting pieced up in the back, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and but you don't, you see it with boxing sometimes. Like if you, uh, God forbid, say something about Canelo's mom, don't do it. <laughs> you know, if you ever see that guy, don't mention his mom around him. No. I guess unless you unless you weigh 170 pounds, <laughs> if you weigh two more pounds in Canelo, you can. Uh, I, yeah, you it got it narrowed it down to one. It's uh, it's oh, R. Kelly. It's R. Kelly. Yeah, I actually I wanted to talk about this too uh, recently because mm-hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, one, he got arrested, and um, he's actually convicted. I'm pretty sure everything's like it's confirmed. He did all the things that everyone kind of knew he did. Yeah. But the other thing that I've seen, R. Kelly music sales have increased by 500% since. Really? Yeah. So you do kind of see that. Is he out selling uh, Dwayne Johnson's new song? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> ignition, uh, remix to Ignition, ignition yes. the Ignition remix or whatever? Yeah. That's a good song. Driving the Closet. That one's like... Like funny though, like I don't think that's a good series of songs. Like it oh, kind of seems good, like, but it's not like a good like music fun wise though. Like it, it seems like fun. you're listening to a play. Like not really like a song or just yeah. it just he, happens to be talked to by a guy. Yeah, that has an amazing voice. Yeah, but 
Yeah, I um, I don't know. You do kind of see that a yeah. lot when people's names just get more popular for whatever reason it is. Like yeah. when um, Takashi was doing his whole thing, like his streaming numbers were through the roof. Yeah. Now whether true. he was buying those numbers, I don't know. <laughs> but the the true reason that I wanted to bring this up, and I, had, I actually didn't get to look it up. I meant to, but I heard that R. Kelly doesn't own his masters. Oh. So in a case oh, like shit. in a case like this, yeah. okay, someone's a piece of shit. And we've both taken the stand of kind of like we've deleted all of his music off our phones, we don't yes. listen to him. Yeah, very easily. Yeah. Um when someone's a piece of shit, I do think that it's hard to separate the two. And sometimes there's different cases. In this case it was very clear he's a piece of shit. We I don't think that you should listen to him. Yeah. But if he doesn't own his masters, I thought you were going to say but ignition. <laughs> if he doesn't own his masters, the music sales don't go to him. So is it okay? To me, that sounds like you're still like morally supporting him. Like, because like yeah. even though you may not be fit, like putting money in his pocket, mm-hmm. like it still sounds like you're contributing to his success, his fame. Like every person that's just. Just now downloading R. Kelly music? That's so weird. Because, like, yeah. if you're just now downloading R. Kelly music, then I'm assuming you've just heard from him. And if you just heard of him, and it's because he's a fucking sex trafficking pedophile, pedophile yeah. rapist. I mean, so, I don't know. That's really weird. Yeah. It's really weird territory, but I saw I saw this video that I... Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Free R. Kelly, me. <laughs> what? Free R. Kelly, me? You don't fool R. Kelly? <laughs> Dude, that guy is so fucking funny. Yeah. And um, I'll send this to you because I, I, I really want you to include this on our thing so video? people... So people know it's a video and we're not... They just don't think one of us just said free R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, some people just listen, so oh, yeah. do you want to so, explain the video? So, yeah, I'm pulling up uh, um, an Instagram account, uh, which is Drusky Too Funny. I'm sure y'all know who he is. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> He's got this dude on who just opens up with Free R. Kelly. And he goes, what? <laughs> and he's like, you don't fuck with R. Kelly? <laughs> that dude. Is one of the reasons why R. Kelly streaming numbers are through the roof right now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fuck with R. Kelly? <laughs> it's not funny, but goddamn, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> you don't fuck with R. Kelly? <laughs> but, no, um, I don't know if yeah. you've heard about some of his, like, kind of, like, fandom, like, how far it reaches. Mm-hmm. Like it's like almost like uh, like BTS levels of crazy. Because um, I could see it. Well, because this definitely isn't the first time he's been arrested. No. But he's been arrested before, and there was uh, women like fans of his that he never met that came together, raised money, and bailed him out. That's so wild. And dude, like I don't know if you ever seen him perform, but they lose their shit. Like yeah. o- old women, yeah, older women lose their fucking shit over R. Kelly. Like, well, I mean, I don't. I, I mean, mean, I really like his music. Yeah, dude was definitely a talented guy. Mm-hmm. I just, I won't stream his music ever again. No, I'm definitely just for yeah. the fact of it's fucked up. I mean, yeah, what he did is just insanely fucked up. So I don't think, I don't know. I don't even want to like. Anytime I hear it now, that's what I associate it with. Yeah. Like anytime I hear R. Kelly, I think of that side of him. I don't think, like, even if yeah. it's just the song, that's what I think of. So, I don't want that, but yeah, I kind of get it. If if you're consciously saying, like, the money doesn't go to him, I just like the song, I get it a little. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. It's your decision. People like that, I feel like they're going to do it either way, but they looked it up. Yeah. If he owns his masters just so they can be like, well, it doesn't go to him. Like, yeah. you were going to listen to it either way. You what know? I think is at least you're trying to find a reason of that it's okay. Yeah. Which is at least better than just being like, 
fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm just going to do this because I don't care. Like, at least you try to do better, so. Is it? I think so. Yeah, because, like, what if that person is just doing it so it sounds like they have, like, a morally justified reason to listen to it? But at least the other person's being honest about it. I think it's better to try to find a moral reason than to just be like, don't care. I'm just going to do shitty things. I think that's kind of funny. It, uh, no. Yeah, it's definitely funny. I mean, like, what do you, the conversation's over there. Yeah. Because, you know, if the other person's like, well, it, it doesn't go to him, there's definitely a back and forth you can have. But yeah. what do you say back to the person that's like, I, I know he's a pedophile. I don't really care. And I like the song. Yeah. I don't police people on it anyway. Yeah. Whenever they play I, I was, our, that's not really a problem with our generation e- anyways. Yeah. It's just like oh, you're playing R. Kelly, like no like who's playing R. Kelly? I hear ignition. I was just saying quite a bit, I but I don't know. I haven't in a really long time. It's also because anytime it comes on, I'm like, I don't want to hear this. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to hear his music. And then I usually have to explain it once and then if they play it, it's like you know you know my take, you just don't give a fuck. And it's like, alright. You don't fuck with R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That dude and Jack Harlow are so fucking funny together. They are. Holy Have shit. Have you watched their uh, the goat conversation that they had? Uh-uh. I keep meaning well, to. I, I saw, just keep forgetting to. I saw a little clip where it was uh, Jack Harlow saying it was Drake. Mm-hmm. That's definitely like a... I want a song together mm-hmm. thing, right? Because yeah. he even mentions, like, because whenever Jusky's answering his, he says, like, he's like, oh, you better think of, like, your relationships. Because, mm-hmm. like, so that was already on Jack's head. Yeah. I very much think that's, like, a, I want a song together, yeah, you know? It. Like, and then, the like, after that, he's going to be like, well, I think Andre 3000's the greatest. <laughs> and then he's like. Yeah. Like, if I, if you were like, all right, name the best podcast if I thought that there was a chance that whoever I say would join the podcast and yeah. like have an interview, like yeah, I would definitely say a different answer. Dude, speaking of that, fuck Andrew Schultz. <laughs> God damn it, dude! Um, it's not his fault, but it's not. God but like, it. I, it definitely didn't rain that much in Louisville for it to flood. The only thing I was thinking it could be like was like maybe like a pipeline thing, like yeah. plumbing cracked or something like that. Because piss me off. Yeah. I mean, at least we didn't drive from a totally another state to come watch him. Yeah. Even though, I mean, he's probably going to perform over in, like, the Carolinas. So, I mean, I get yeah, I, I, I get the point of it. But, yeah. But, yeah. God damn. That's such. I was wanting to shout out our podcast. Uh, yeah. Maybe give him a sticker. Yeah. Just stick it right on his nose. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for us to go on tour. That's going to be great. When we go and visit Shane, <laughs> we're going to call that tour. <laughs> yeah. Jamming on tour. It'll happen. I genuinely think I willed that place into flooding. Hear me out. I wanted to go see Schultz perform. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. I don't like getting out of the house. Yeah. And because I was supposed to do that and go to a football game, and it was kind of stressing me out that I had two things to go to this weekend. <laughs> so I was like, I ha- like I remember yeah. beginning the weekend saying I have to cancel something this weekend. Yeah. And then I think it was like twenty minutes later, you tell me that uh, the Louisville Theater flooded, and I was like, I was like, well, fuck, I wasn't really wanted to be that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was like, okay, that's fine. At least there's only one thing to do. And then I found out uh, we didn't get tickets to the Louisville game, so I was like. That's fucking awesome. I don't have shit to do this weekend. It sucked. Yeah, I know. I need to I need to get out of that. Because like, I always do that just like yeah. once I get out. We talked about it last night some, but yeah. once I actually go out and do something, I have fun. And I know this every single time. I know that if I go out, it's actually going to be decent. Yeah. But the day of going somewhere, I'm like, I should just cancel. Like, I really don't want to go anywhere. I do uh, kind of similar, but kind of the opposite of yeah. that, where... If I want to do something before, that stresses me out. Mm-hmm. So, like, if I have plans to go do something, like, for that one, it was, like, it's 7.30. Like, I wanted to do a little bit of work in here. But the entire day, I was like, oh, I don't want to get started and I have to stop at yeah. a weird spot. So, like, the whole day, I'm like, I can't do anything because I have something in 10 hours from now. Yeah. So, that's where, like, it stresses me out. Like, I can't do anything before going out. Or many convenience. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only reason I'm not a millionaire at this age is because it'd be wildly inconvenient to shoot for that right now. You know, 
taking the steps necessary to become a millionaire, it's got to be pretty inconvenient, you know? Go. Yeah. You definitely got to sacrifice shit. I definitely couldn't play Binding of Isaac for 12 hours a day, yeah. you know? Yeah, that is So fair. I would have to sacrifice you could that. If you and streamed. Who Binding is a Isaac. millionaire off of Binding of Isaac? Uh, a millionaire. No fucking way you're about to give me a name. I'm going to smack you in the mouth. <laughs> no, that is not the same goddamn thing. Who is a millionaire off streaming Binding of Isaac? I don't know. There's probably someone. Why are you like this? There's pro- there is why no you, one. There is so nobody. You just money. want to find a little hole in my... Like, there is no you just, example you fucking have, but you just want to be like, they're probably somebody. I don't watch streamers stream... Well, just about anything. I only watch, like, two streamers, and that's Shane, because he's a friend, and... Um, someone play Pokemon Unite because that's the game I've been playing. So, I don't watch streamers like that. Then shut your goddamn mouth. But streamers make fucking money. Yeah, like, you're talking ones that do, like, like Fortnite shit. Like, no, I'm mainstream successful shit. The people who don't do mainstream successful shit still get money. Millionaires. You want to say millionaires? And their from binding? sole career... Binding is so fucking popular. And it's it so, is their sole career is to stream Binding of Isaac. If you want to, like, really, like, like mainline this, and, like, they've never streamed anything else, only Binding, and they've made... Yeah, because at that point, at it would be kind of hard to tell, right? Like, exactly. what revenue yeah. is coming from. Yeah, so just Binding of Isaac. Sure. You can have it. Okay. If you really mainline this and go, this is the only scenario, the only thing... Just so you can fucking be right? Yeah, because cause, no, cause no on my luck, Tuesday, before we post this, PewDiePie is going to stream, uh, like, uh, Binding of Isaac. I'm going to be like, well, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, there's been people that have made money. Yeah, but I don't think anybody's ever made a million dollars off of streaming Binding. Why? Because you haven't? No, because I... Because you haven't looked Name them, Brendan. Name, name... Uh, name one person who's a millionaire off streaming, uh, off a streaming career of buying Isaac. Good luck looking that up too. Yeah, I, don't I know. made that a pretty I was gonna specific. Look, yeah, I was going to look it up, and I don't know. But yeah, you're you're making it to where this is such a <laughs> mainline fucking thing. <laughs> that was my point the whole time, though. People can stream Binding of Isaac and make money. Like that was mine. Didn't say money. A I said dollars. yes. Yeah, I think so. I, I bet you that there's been someone who has made at least near that. Who's made a million? Sure. I'll bond it. I don't see where it's like impossible. You're saying it like there's no fucking way. Their whole career. Okay. Like I said, you can have it. I just don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think that's sure. ever happened. Have it. God damn you, Brendan. That does feel good, though. I don't think you're. I think your main line. This well, that very, was the whole thing. Very, very specific. That's what I right. started off with saying is that, like, I'm, I'm saying, like, that's why I'm not a millionaire because I play all the time. And mm-hmm. then you said. You could stream it. Yes. Yeah. Assuming that you're saying I could make millions because that is what I just said and that's what led you to say you could stream it. It could happen. Mm-hmm. And that's been Jamie McCron and Rex. Thanks.